In this video, we will review 10 practice questions you may see on the private pilot written exam. You plan to phone a weather briefing facility for pre-flight weather info. You should. According to the Aeronautical Information Manual, pilots should identify themselves as such at the beginning of the call. The pilot should then provide whether the flight is VFR or IFR, the aircraft number, type and departure airport along with the route of flight, destination, altitude and estimate time of departure and time en route. The correct answer to question 1 is B. Your cousin wants you to take him flying. You must have made at least three takeoffs and three landings in your aircraft within the preceding. The regulation for carrying passengers can be found in FAR Part 61.57. Pilots must have made at least three takeoffs and landings within the preceding 90 days in order to legally fly with passengers. In what flight condition are torque effects more pronounced in a single engine airplane? Torque effects will be more pronounced at low airspeed, high power, and high angle of attack. See Chapter 5 of the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge and Chapter 4 of the Airplane Flying Handbook to find out why torque effects are more pronounced at low air speed, high power, and high angle of attack. The wind at 5,000 feet AGL is southwesterly while the surface wind is southerly. This difference in direction is primarily due to Terrain on the surface of the Earth causes friction which slows the wind speed. The rougher the terrain, the greater the frictional effect. The difference in wind direction and wind speeds can be attributed to changes in terrain and the frictional effects associated with different topography over the surface of the Earth. Eye movements during daytime collision avoidance scanning should. According to Chapter 8 of the Aeronautical Information Manual, eye movements should not exceed 10 degrees and view each sector of the sky for at least one second. Pilots should remember to practice see and avoid techniques to avoid mid-air collisions. Most mid-air collisions occur during the daytime with clear visibility which is another question you may be asked on the private pilot written exam. When there is a temperature inversion, you would expect to experience. Temperature inversions occur when there is an increase in temperature at higher altitudes. Thus, a pilot would expect to experience an increase in temperature as their airplane climbs higher when there is a temperature inversion. When warm, moist, stable air flows upslope, it. The keyword in this question is stable. Stratus clouds are an indication of stable air while cumulonimbus clouds are typically an indication of turbulent conditions. We can eliminate answers B and C since thunderstorms and convective turbulence are associated with cumulonimbus clouds and stable, calm conditions can be found near stratus clouds. Each person who holds a pilot certificate or a medical certificate shall present it for inspection upon the request of any. According to FAR 61.3, any person holding an airman certificate should present their pilot or medical certificate upon any request from the administrator, authorized representative from the NTSB, any federal, state, or local law enforcement officer, or an authorized representative of the TSA. The correct method of stating 5,500 feet MSL to ATC is The correct way to state an altitude of 5,500 feet would be 5,500. 5 is typically pronounced fife and 3 is pronounced tree. For this question, the best answer is C. See Chapter 4 of the AIM for further study material on recommended communication procedures with ATC unless otherwise authorized, which situation requires automatic dependent surveillance broadcast, ADSB? No pilot may operate without ADSB equipment. Above the ceiling and within the lateral boundaries of a Class B or Class C airspace area designated for an airport upward to 10,000 feet MSL. 
The regulations regarding ADSB equipment can be found in FAR 91.225. Thank you for watching the video. Please like the video and subscribe for more flight training and aviation related educational videos.